Moog is the biggest name in synthesizers. It rhymes with Vogue, by the way. And here at South By, they put on a mini Moog Fest. Now, at this festival, we were able to talk to a couple folks who are, well, building synthesizers. Now, it's not just a company, it's actually a bit of a community, and it's getting bigger every day. Synthesizers in South By, well, they kind of go together. Anyone who has a soldering iron, and a breadboard or even a circuit board can build a synthesizer. Uh, it brings technology and music together. It's sort of the perfect instrument for this giant event out here in Texas. Synthesizers have been around for about 100 years, but it was Robert Moog that popularized the instrument by adding a keyboard in the 60s. And for the most part, that's the version of the instrument you hear in popular music. In an analog synthesizer like this, we start out uh, with an oscillator. An oscillator produces a steady pitch sound. And in this synthesizer, we can control the oscillator sound from either the keyboard, from the pitch wheel, or automatically through modulation. But in the past 20 years, modular synths have made a comeback thanks to the Eurorack format that standardized the size of the modules and let musicians create complex sounds from a variety of devices. From Deltronic's portable Eurorack, to the rare waves light control devices and the sweet all-in-one Grendel, to the circular sequencer being shown off by Future Retro. At Moogfest, the companies talked about creating their own music and building their own synths. You don't have to know everything there is to know about electronics to build a synthesizer. You set out with one idea that I want to do this, but along the way you discover all these other things and it's really important to pay attention to those because you'll learn more from your mistakes than get just getting to your end result that you had in mind. Because oftentimes that's where new features come out. But the experimentation doesn't stop with building a synth. It's actually part of the culture and creating the music. There's just more people wanting to get into electronic music. You hear it everywhere. But a lot of people don't, they don't have music theory or they didn't take music lessons. And the modular world allows them to just try things, you know, and maybe they'll stumble upon something previous synthesizers haven't, you know, discovered yet, and maybe they'll spend their life trying to recreate that old sound from one of their favorite synths. Synthesizers, where technology and music come together.